you were ever interested in learning about PLA Plus, well, so am I. And Duramic reached out to me and we're gonna test their PLA Plus today. So stay tuned. William from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, I'm really excited today. Not only did I get my parts done for my Mandalorian helmet, 3D printed, Duramic reached out to me, they make filament, and sent me two boxes of PLA Plus. I thought I'd do kind of a vlog type of review on these because I've never worked with PLA Plus before. Obviously, I've worked with a lot of PLA, but I haven't done the Plus before. So I'm gonna be reviewing Duramic's filament today, and we're also gonna be taking a look at PLA Plus from what I've read, is actually a stronger material than just PLA. So basically they took all the great things about ABS and all the great things about PLA and made it as good as ABS, from what I gathered. So it's supposed to be stronger, a smoother finish, a little bit more flexible from what I've read. We will see what additives they added to this to make this better. We're gonna do some test prints. So I'm no expert, but I'll tell you what I look for in a filament when I get it. First of all, really nice box, which they really did a great job on this and I chose red and black. It's a two pack that you can get really inexpensively. I think right now it's under 40 bucks for two rolls of filament, two different colors, which I like to work with different colors. I'm gonna be testing out the red today. I also have a black here too and I'm messing with that as well. And the first thing I look for, I don't know about you guys, like I said, I'm no expert, but I look to see if it's vacuum sealed. And this is definitely vacuum sealed. And what I love more than anything, guys, when I'm getting my filament is this right here. You see the measurement? If any other filament company is watching this video right now, put these on your filaments. I love this because it tells you how much is left. When you're setting up a print, it says it's gonna take 70 or 200 grams of filament. You could see, hey, do I still have that left on my roll? Yeah, oh, 400 grams, yeah. You could even do it in meters. You can kind of figure out how much filament you have left on the spool because there's nothing worse than when you run out of filament in the middle of a print. Let's go ahead and test this out. I'm gonna throw this on the 3D printer and I'm gonna do a temperature tower to see what the temperature tolerances are on this stuff. Vacuum sealed. And I did do a video on this, so if you wanna take a look on how I do my temperature tower, you can take a look at this video right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and show you a little preview of why it's printing. print is done. There you go. This is the Duramatic and this is Hatchbox. And the colors are very close. I think they got better in the red department, but the print on the Hatchbox is a little better when it comes to the cross. Other than that, everything really looks pretty similar. Testing this filament for four days now. I'm on day four of this. Did a test cube. I think it came out really good. Pretty happy with that. Then I wanted to see the tolerance of the filament. So I made this fidget cube. Works really good, goes back and forth. Really nice print finish on this. Before I went to bed, I set up for a Deadpool, and that happened. Now this was not the printer's fault. I actually had a thunderstorm. It was printing beautifully. I mean, look at that, it's coming out amazing. And we kept having power fluctuations, and then finally the last power fluctuation left it like this. So obviously I had to upgrade, and I put a battery back up. Because I'm running this off of a Raspberry Pi, I can't continue on printing like you would with the normal printer setting which I don't know about you guys and you guys can leave comments down below have you had luck with a power failure running off the SD card on your Ender 3 and then being able to load it back up once the power came back on because I haven't but with the Raspberry Pi I don't think that capability is possible I haven't researched it yet but maybe it is but Say, this is the best Deadpool print I have ever done outside a resin 3D printer. I'm not even joking, guys. I know they gave me free filament. Trust me, it wasn't enough money for me to think that their filament was good. It was only two rolls. And I am really, 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 really impressed with the print quality. I mean, he came out awesome. 
absolutely awesome. So was not expecting that. Very impressed with it so far. And I really love the color. The color is coming out awesome on this. I wanted to compare one of my favorite filaments, which is Tech Bears. And this is a piece of the Mandalorian helmet. I'm actually printing stuff that I actually need. And it doesn't fit. I don't know if I did that wrong, but it doesn't fit in there. I gotta shave it down a little bit. But the print quality on Tech Bear is usually really awesome. So I printed this last night and I also printed it in the PLA Plus by Duramic. And the quality is just awesome. I mean, I'll show you a difference. We'll do it on the bigger pieces. Duramic, Tech Bears. I mean, awesome stuff, Tech Bear. But the Duramic, I just think it came out like perfect. I mean, really nice. Give me the right side and left side of his ears. Mandalorian helmet, it's what I'm working on. A little rough right now. I got some Bondo on it. I gotta sand it down, but fits perfect. Perfect. So yeah, I like the way this piece came out so good that the back piece of this helmet I'm printing in the background right now. Really impressed with this stuff so far and it's only been four days. All right guys, so I'm out in my garage today and I stole this little trick from CNC Kitchen. He makes these cool little hooks and that he puts weight on and he tests the strength of a filament. So, so I thought I'd take some of these hooks, some laying flat, some laying straight up and down and test how strong they are. The red one is by Duramic, PLA Plus, which I've been printing on the whole time during this video and then tech bears is the black which is a regular PLA so we're gonna see which one of these is stronger I'm gonna set it up back here I have this hook I'm gonna hook one of these up here right like this and I'm gonna add weights to them in five pound increments and see how much they can hold these were printed at 22 millimeter high 20% infill all right our first one up is gonna be the tech bears regular PLA straight up and down so let's see how much weight it could take All right, so needless to say, 15 pounds broke this. It broke right at one of the layer heights because it's straight up and down. Now we'll try Duramic PLA Plus straight up and down. So let's see how this does. All right, first five pounds. Does good at five pounds. Now 10 pounds. All right, now 15 pounds. All right, now 20 pounds. Wow, that's 20 pounds. I'm gonna add five more pounds. All right, so 25 pounds opposed to 15 pounds on the regular PLA. And that was straight up and down. I can only imagine when we do the ones that are laying flat, how much stronger it'll be. And it does make a difference when you print straight up and down or you print it on the bed flat. There's a difference depending on which way the force is going. So on this case, laying it flat, it's gonna be stronger. Opposed to going against the layer edge, it's actually gonna just break. As you can see, the failure point was where it actually drew the layer. Again, right where the layer was was printed, that's where it failed. All right, so now we'll do the PLA flat up and down. We'll add five weight increments again and see how it holds up. We're doing the regular PLA, five pounds. Didn't think there would be a challenge. 10 pounds, no problem. 15 pounds, still holding up. 20 pounds, still holding up. 25 pounds, woo, still holding up. 30 pounds. So now we're going to be doing 35 pounds. Okay, that one hurt my ears. That was 35 pounds and finally broke. So let's see if this PLA Plus should be able to do more. And this is getting a little risky for me, but I'm going to start it off at 25 just to make this video a little quicker. All right, that's 25. Alright, I was dying in the garage, I had to get out of there. So just to recap, we had the regular PLA, which was the black one, only did 15 pounds straight up and down. The Duramic PLA Plus, straight up and down, did a whopping 25 pounds. That's really impressive, that's 10 pounds more. Which that tells me adhesion's a lot better with this filament. So layer adhesion, because it's straight up and down. Now when it came to them laying down where they should have been stronger, which they both were, but they both couldn't handle 35 pounds. 
pounds. So I'm thinking this material is just the breaking point of 35 pounds. And it shows to me that the adhesion's stronger, but the overall material is kind of the same in some aspect. At a certain point, it's still plastic and it's gonna be the same breaking point no matter how you print it. Just to be known, I am not a scientific person. I was just doing an experiment just to see how strong the PLA Plus would be. So take that for what you will. All right, my overall thoughts, guys. After spending a week 3D printing with Duramic, I gotta say, guys, I'm gonna give it a five out of five because it's awesome. It works at higher temperatures, it prints easy, pretty strong stuff from my demonstration, and the print quality is pretty incredible. And I gotta say, they weren't all really on my radar. I saw them from here and there every once in a while for a filament to buy, which is a shame because the stuff is great. And one of the reasons why is it was one of the cheaper filaments. So you could get this stuff, I've seen it on sale for anywhere from 15 to $25, a one kilogram spool. So, you know, this size of a spool is a bargain. It's a really good quality PLA. And it's a PLA plus, it's cheaper than most PLAs. I was not expecting that, especially when a company approached me that I was not familiar with. I will be buying this on a regular basis. This is gonna be part of my setup now. That's it for me, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe that this video helped you in any way. And remember, if you enjoy my content, Ring that bell so you get notified when I make a video. And remember, you could do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. Really nice, really nice print. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Crazy Will's tech show's over. What do I do now? Real simple, guys. You hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button. And then you check out my other videos. It's not over. I made a lot. It's been a good year.